innovative utilization of the patient's triage wait time with rapid and intuitive integrated information system during covid crisis when corona happened in india we as i care professionals made the following changes in our i care practice pattern we converted our underground car parking garage into the patient's triage and waiting area by screening and triaging the patients underground for covid symptoms we avoided the flow of presumably symptomatic patients from entering the hospital main block thus reducing the chances of transmission of covid-19 from the patients the previous waiting hall was now converted into an outpatient department and investigation cubicle all opd and investigative tools were brought into one common cubicle to prevent face to face interactions and reduce patient movement within the hospital premises this is a picture showing our pre covid waiting hall which is now converted into an isolation cubicle meant only for opd and investigations this cubicle made of acrylic is transparent and consists of openings in front of every instrument for the patient to rest their chin and forehead while performing the test the cubicle is devised with sliders to close the opening when the test is not performed the cubicle is also provided with inward angulated dents near the patient's leg for resting them on it while the test is underway this was reminiscent of the fabric clad dividers of the 1980s the coronavirus transmission was successfully avoided with this model but on the flip side doctor patient face to face communication reduced due to physical acrylic barrier we as doctors had minimum clue how much the patient understood about their disease and treatment for understanding the understood triage wait time was utilized by providing basic questionnaire for new patients and advanced questionnaire for review patients they were sent as google forms to the patient's mail or whatsapp and they were made to answer it during their wait time let us take for example the approach to a glaucoma patient the questionnaire was predominantly related to the awareness of the disease process and was constructed after a focus group discussion following social distancing with glaucoma patients the components of the questionnaire comprise of awareness pertaining to the disease investigations treatment and follow up the questionnaire was constructed predominantly in a yes or no pattern and was easy to answer and patient friendly the patient entered for consultation along with this awareness profile so if the patient was particularly weak in a specific component then we concentrated and strengthened the knowledge of the patient in that particular component awareness profile will guide us on how to address specifically for that patient let us see some real time examples disease awareness glaucoma occurs due to raised eye pressure yes or no have your family members screen for glaucoma yes or no one such father with ocular hypertension read the questionnaire and brought his two sons for checkup who ended up being diagnosed with ocular hypertension themselves do you know about normal tension glaucoma yes or no if yes then we can prime the patient for what is splinter hemorrhage and the need for subsequent fundus photographs to follow it up this is another example for alternating splinter hemorrhage the basic question is have you tested your heart and neck blood vessels the advanced question for review patients is have you underwent test to detect sleep apnea awareness on investigations the questions are have you done your central corneal thickness fundus photo visual fields or oct the questionnaire is presented pictorially to the patient's phone for better patient understanding all the investigative gadgets are interconnected to the pc desktop through wireless local access network for quick evaluation by reducing doctor's moving time to each machine within the cubicle a question like 
have you examined your central corneal thickness should trigger the patient in asking us its importance so we can tell them how it helps in risk profiling the glaucoma patients questions like have you done your fundus photograph will help us in not only getting the investigation done but also educating them the need for objective structural assessment like measurement of cup to disc ratio in this scenario the patient seems to have a normal cup but if a previous baseline fundus had been done then the current picture is actually a progression and not normal have you checked your visual fields have you done your oct this is a oct image showing glaucomatous rnfl thinning once the patient is primed for oct we can educate the patient for non invasive oct angiography priming the patient during the waiting time before doing an investigative test by sending step by step patient instructions to their phone may aid in better patient cooperation during the test patient is shown how serial visual field testing during follow up can throw light on progression of the glaucomatous defect example superior arcuate scotoma as shown here the patient will also be sent educative videos to their smartphones mail or whatsapp once registered to address on the safety measures taken inside the hospital and also requesting them to follow it simple instructions like how to sit where to keep the leg how to communicate with the examiner during the test may alleviate the anxiety for some and reassure them treatment awareness counseling patients for timely review rather than following prescription blindly is stressed upon A survey was conducted by us on anti-glaucoma medication compliance. Questionnaire involving purchase, stocking and compliance revealed 50% of the patients were non-compliant and the common reasons were other priority, forgetfulness and medication getting over. Important observations. Some patients were semi-dependent, some were not educated on how to use the drops, some stock while they travel, some they never stock. Lack of information played a role in a newly diagnosed glaucoma patient some did relative stocking for others doctor's word remained final then we had an obsessive stalker we have created this do it yourself workflow tool with rapid and intuitive technology to gather quantified information from the patient during their triage time to establish virtual doctor patient interaction same data is then used to make incremental improvements in practice delivery in this era of smartphones we have at least 92 connections per 100 citizens in india with 50% of them having a smartphone so let us positively move towards making the patient feel safe and special in this covid era for fruitful results thank you